And if you liked these tattoos, if you would want them for yourself, don't copy, don't go to a different artist and try to copy, go to these artists. Ask them if they'd be willing to draw something similar or do a completely unique design that's tailored to you. None of what I have is necessarily my own idea, so I'm not gonna say that they're my tattoos, but they do belong to the artists, especially the big flash pieces. A lot of time and effort and hours, blood, sweat, tears, love went into making those, so just respect the artists and go to them if you like the work. That's my little PSA that I'll say about that. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about my tattoos. Now, I only have four, but a lot of people don't think that I have any, so I figured I'd make a whole video about them. I'm gonna go in chronological order, and I'm gonna tell you when I got them, where I got them, who did them, and the meaning behind them, and some fun facts and extra stuff about each one. Like I said, I only have four, and so this probably actually won't be a short video because <laughs> I'm gonna go like in depth on each tattoo. So let's just get into it. So first of all, the reason why a lot of people don't think that I have any tattoos is because they're all on my legs and they're all on my lower legs. So my very first tattoo is on my right foot. It's this little guy right here. So this was my very first tattoo. I love him a lot. He is my only tattoo with any type of color. He has a red eye, as you can see. And honestly, he's often covered up by my socks and shoes. So I got this tattoo March 13th, 2015, and it was a Friday the 13th tattoo. As some of you might know, a lot of tattoo shops across the world, honestly, do tattoo deals on Friday the 13th. Well, they'll go off of a flash sheet and you can get usually a relatively cheap tattoo or a really cheap tattoo in my case. This was $20 just for the tattoo and I'm pretty sure I tipped on top of that, but don't quote me because I can't fucking remember. This was four and a half years ago and my memory is absolutely horseshit. I can't even remember how much my most recent tattoo was. That's how much I can't remember things. <laughs> um, but I do know that at least I paid at least $20 for this tattoo, which is I think super cheap. I got it at Lowbrow Saints Tattoo Collective in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I can't remember the tattoo artist also. I think his name might have been Wile or Wiley, but that's just the name that pops into my head. I'm not sure if that's correct. <laughs> um, and there's no way for me to know because there is no like photo taken of it. It wasn't posted on Instagram. You know, it was just a flash day. I didn't get a business card. I didn't think about it at the time. Yeah. Here is a photo of me getting tattooed that my roommate took of me. So is there any meaning behind this one? Um, not really, like kind of. Um, I have like an attributed meaning to it as in like, there's kind of like two or three reasons why I got this tattoo. Um, the first one being because I do like it aesthetically. As you'll see, I have a big thing for skulls um, and horns, um, but specifically skulls, I don't know. So yeah, so first of all, I just like how it looks. Um, second of all, it was my first tattoo, and so I didn't want anything super important and super meaningful and like well thought out and I know that that's not a route that a lot of people take um, but for me I wanted to break the ice I wanted to like break down that intimidating wall of permanency that tattoos have I wanted to get something without meaning and without a ton of planning to get that first tattoo hesitation out of the way of course there is like laser and cover-ups and shit but like your first tattoo can feel very scary. And so for me, I wanted to kind of say fuck you to that idea and just get something done and I'm gonna live with it and it's gonna be fine. And it was, and it still is. And I love this tattoo. Like it's so small, it's so weird, but I fucking love it. I actually came up with the idea the night before. Um, so I had a little bit of time to plan. <laughs> um, but I had seen the flash sheet that Lowbrow Saints had posted on their Facebook Immediately, I was like, I want that one. <laughs> I had the idea that it could be cool on my foot just with the way that it looks. And I didn't even know if we were gonna go to that specific place that day because there were a lot of shops doing the Friday the 13th deal. But as it turns out, we did go to that one with this flash and I got it, so, ha. <laughs> so, that brings me to my second tattoo ever, which actually is one that was both super impulsive and not impulsive um, and it wasn't impulsive because it was a tattoo idea that I had had for at least hold on four years 
Before that, when did I first? I think I was a sophomore in high school. Yeah. Okay, well, to be safe, let's just say at least three years I had been thinking about this tattoo idea. And that is an upside down cross on the back of my leg, specifically right above my ankle. So this one is a half-finished stick and poke that my best friend did in the summer of 2015. It was uh, specifically August of 2015. So the impulsive aspect of this tattoo is that it was done at my other friend's birthday party. <laughs> my best friend was actually giving him a tattoo and then she kind of asked if anybody else wants one and I was like, fuck yeah, <laughs> I definitely do if you were giving tattoos, hell yeah. Uh, so we just did it. Um, so why is it half finished and why haven't we finished it since then? So we haven't finished it since then because fucking whatever. <laughs> we just haven't. Uh, we've talked about it a million times, but now I live in a different country and every time I come home, we're just too busy catching up and hanging out to want to deal with it. But it's half finished because it was in the middle of a party and we got bored and wanted to go hang out. Of course, when the other person was getting his tattoos done, everybody was downstairs, everybody was talking, everybody was hanging out. But eventually the party went on and once it was time for me to get my tattoo, everybody had moved upstairs and so we were the only ones in the basement. So we decided once my best friend did one pass, we would pause, go upstairs, go hang out, and then come back downstairs to finish it. and. And we never did. But I'm okay with how it looks. I don't care at all. Um, I kind of like it just because it's very obviously like a shitty tattoo. Or when, I shouldn't say shitty, it's just half done. But I thought it was really funny because the tattoo artist who did my most recent tattoo, when she saw it, she was like, what happened to this one? And then when I told her what it was, she said, oh, it looks like something that's been partly lasered off. So depending on how you look at it, it's either half done or half undone. And so like I said, this was a very old tattoo idea that I had. It was, I think it's my second oldest tattoo idea. And the original idea was to have an uh, upside down cross on both legs. So it would be a double tattoo. But I remember my uh, ex, my boyfriend at the time in high school, when I first came up with this idea, he like shot it down immediately because he was like, oh, I don't like double tattoos because you're getting the same tattoo twice. And so you're like wasting space in that other area, that other side. And so at the time I was like, oh yeah, I guess that, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but since then I've decided, fuck that, <laughs> it's my body, my tattoos. But at the same time, I will not be getting the second one because now my other tattoo is in the way. <laughs> but yeah, even if this never gets fully finished, I still love it. I don't regret it at all. I don't regret any of my tattoos. Um, and yeah, I'm just super happy with it. How did it feel? Um, it was weird. It felt like I was getting stabbed a million times. Um, definitely uncomfortable. It's way different from the machine, from what I can remember, and I like the machine better. So what is the meaning behind this tattoo? Um, I like the cross of St. Peter. I like upside down crosses. I always have. I don't really know why. It does help that I'm an atheist, but that's not what I think about when I look at my tattoo, and it's not really what I think about when I look at any upside down cross. I was definitely the kid in high school that used to be like, did you know that the cross of St. Peter actually means extreme reverence to God? So I know all of that and I still love it. Um, part of why I love the cross of St. Peter or the upside down cross is because the meaning of the symbol has become so convoluted over years. It went from something that really did mean like the most religious that you could be or like the most, the most Christian basically, um, to now a lot of people assume Satanism, so it, it totally flipped, and I just love that. I just think it's really cool how, how over time things change, the meanings of things change, and so I don't know, it just, the symbol always aesthetically, I really liked it, um, I'm sure because I was an edgy teen and I was like, haha, yeah, Satan, uh, like fuck religion, but at the same time, um, once I actually looked into it, that's when I really liked the symbol. Uh. But at the same time, when I look at this tattoo, uh, I'm not thinking about the symbol necessarily, I'm thinking about my best friend. So despite this one technically being a little bit more impulsive than my first tattoo, um, it definitely holds a lot more meaning to me. Okay, so now we can move on to my um, next tattoo, and so that is this one right here, this guy. And so this one was actually my birthday present to myself this year. That means that I got this on January 29th, 2019. It was done by Decapitin or Felix at Punctum Tattoo in Ghent, Belgium. 
Like my first tattoo, this is also a flash design, but it's not necessarily flash in the same way, but it was pre-drawn. It's not my idea. But like I said, this was for my birthday. So I went down to Ghent with my friends and I actually filmed the whole thing. The day before, we stayed in a hotel, then walked over to the studio the next morning. And so the studio itself is actually a boat, which was both really cool and really stressful for me because I'm actually kind of afraid of boats. So getting in and out of it was rough for me. But once inside, I would forget about it unless I looked out the portholes or the windows. But I wanted to throw in some extra clips here of my birthday trip and getting the tattoo just for fun. I wouldn't go over the line here from your from your bone. No? No, I wouldn't go over it. Okay. Just like this. How's it been? It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. So, we're leaving, we're done, it's done, all done, it's 8, 15 p.m. pretty much, we got here at 11 a.m. We're done, I can't believe it, I can't believe it, crazy. So what is the meaning behind this tattoo? So the number one meaning behind this is that it looks fucking cool. <laughs> Something about this design just like spoke to me when I saw it and that doesn't happen often. I saw it in his flash posted on Instagram and I just like instantly fell in love. It was actually like this kind of fast boomerang and so I spent like a ton of time trying to like screenshot it correctly so I could actually like zoom in and look at it and like fully see it. Um, but it was definitely worth it. <laughs> and then once I like saw it and was like, yes, I think I emailed him like right away to ask if it was still available and it was and the rest is history. And still to this day, I super love it. I'm super happy with the placement, super happy with the size, super happy with everything. I was a little bit nervous about how there is some solid parts in here and I'm kind of, 
I like black work tattoos, I like solid tattoos, but I like them on other people. I don't really see myself personally getting anything too, too heavy, and so I was a little bit nervous at first, but it ended up perfect. It's like just the right amount of filled in versus whatever. I don't know how to describe tattoos, so <laughs> sorry if this is horrible. But what I'm trying to say is that I like how it looks. <laughs> And so finally, number four, this brings me to my last tattoo, my most recent tattoo, which is on my other leg, so I gotta like switch around. So this is my most recent tattoo. I got this on May 7th, 2019, which actually was a month or so later than the original appointment date. I remember I moved it for financial reasons. But this was done by Shea Winter at her own private tattoo studio in Mortsel, Belgium. Mortsel? I don't know how to say it, but it's like kind of near Antwerp, so. So this design is also a flash design, which means that the tattoo artist drew it herself and it was posted publicly. I can't remember exactly where I saw her specific flash. It was either on her Instagram or her website, but I found about her, I found her as an artist actually through Punctum because she was guesting with them kind of around the time I was talking to Felix about getting the other one that I just showed you. Also, I hope I'm saying Punctum right. Fingers crossed I'm saying it right, who knows. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not, I really respect your guys' tattoo studio, I just am American, I don't know how to pronounce stuff, I guess. Not I guess, that's a for sure thing, I don't know how to pronounce stuff and it's, it, I get really embarrassed about it, so. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. <laughs> But, like I said, this was her flash, and again, it just stuck out to me when I saw it. And so I emailed Shayo to find out, is it available? Would it fit in this placement, in your opinion? Is that doable? Um, and she said yes to all of the above, and we set an appointment, and now it's on me forever. But yeah, I 100% have a type when it comes to tattoos. Um, anything with a skull, I just go batshit crazy for. <laughs> if it's an animal skull that has horns on it, um, even better. <laughs> I remember there was a guest tattooer there who was uh, pretty silly and him and Shayo had like really funny banter so we were all laughing throughout the day. The worst part was here, which she actually saved for last and gave me a lot of warning about. I remember when we were doing the stencil and planning it out, uh, she did warn me that that part would be tricky. So I was very prepared going in, like I said it was the very last thing that we did and it just felt wrong. Getting that spot tattooed felt different from the rest for sure. And it was overall just icky. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, it was, ugh. I just like, I didn't like it. <laughs> so what about meaning for this tattoo? Um, it looks cool. <laughs> it goes well with my other one. I just love skulls and I want them on my body. What's really funny is that I don't want skulls on my clothes. For some weird reason, like if a shirt or whatever has like a skull on it, a human skull or otherwise, kind of don't really care. But if it's a tattoo, I'm like, that's for me. <laughs> so one thing that I did want to include is that now that I've had these two big tattoos, um, in terms of what they mean to me, they've definitely come to mean, I've kind of come to see them as like my guys. It really just feels more that they're like, with me instead of just on me. Especially like this one. Yeah, it's really hard to try to put into words, but I'll cut it there. I don't want to get too rambly. All right, so that finally concludes my tattoo video. I do have plans for more, so in theory there will be more videos like this. And I decided to go so in depth on each tattoo because I think from now on, I won't make videos about these tattoos ever. So I kind of wanted to say everything that I had to say about these guys, get it all out, tell the full story once and for all, if that makes sense. Please go check out all of the artists and tattoo studios that I mentioned in this video. All of the information will be in the description. A really big thank you goes to Mariah for the photos, the beautiful photos that are in the thumbnail that I have been promoing on Instagram and that I probably put in this video too. I'll also have her information down below, so check her out as well. So that just about wraps up my tattoo video. I hope that you guys liked it. Thank you for listening to me ramble about these tattoos for so long. But more importantly, now everybody knows that I do have tattoos. They're just all on my lower legs. <laughs> but feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you again for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!